What makes a good backscattered electron image? Well, it depends on what story you're trying to tell. For example, here I have a zircon. If I'm trying to give a sense of how the zircon is inside of a biotite here, and that there are other zircons, like one down here, then I might stay zoomed out like this. However, if I'm trying to study the zircon itself, I might zoom in further. I want the zircon centered in the photo, and then I can focus it better. Right. But there may be reasons that you want to see the features, say, within the zircon, and so you want to zoom in and have a different sort of picture. When you take any sort of image on the SEM, you want the feature that you're looking at to be centered on the screen. So, for example, if I found a cool zircon, but it was over here like this, this picture probably wouldn't be as good at telling the story of how what shape the zircon is, what it's inside of, as if I clicked on the center of the zircon and had the zircon centered in the photo. Here's another example of thinking about centering and zooming in and out for an image. Right now I'm looking at a very close-up picture of olivine with some surrounding pyroxene. This is, shows the fractures um, and cleavage in these minerals but that may not be the story I want to tell. So if I zoom out a little bit more, I can more clearly see the olivine here being replaced or intergrown with pyroxene. And then there's actually some biotite crystals surrounding it. So in this case, it might be a better idea to zoom out a little bit so you can see the context of the minerals that you're trying to image uh, so that you could better describe it once you have the image.